Hey everyone, my name is Ollie and welcome back to my channel. As you can see behind me, I have been a little bit busy off camera just doing some little detailing and just general decorating. Just the outside, I haven't done anything on the inside so I thought that we could do that today. So I haven't done much. As you can see, all this is still the same. But I've added more of like a pathway and then I've just done some like more texturing of the land around here. I've also added some bushes and some flowers all around the house. There is all, I've left this also open because I was also caving, not much. I only went down there to get some coal and some iron and that's about it really. So yeah, I thought today we could focus more on the inside as well as go on a little quest because in the next episode I want to build a farm area and as I said in the last episode we need to get more crops because this texture pack not only retextures the crops or some of the crops but it also adds corn into the game by replacing beetroot. Now as much as I like the variation uh, of having the colour red in the beetroot. Having corn in the game and having that crop be two blocks high is such a great feature and yeah I feel like if I was to build a farm I'm gonna need some more crops because at the moment all I've got is sugarcane and wheat and I'm not gonna be putting sugarcane in the farm because I don't really that's not really like a farm type of thing. I am going to be making like a wheat field and carrots and potatoes and obviously corn but I also want to get pumpkins because it's obviously October <laughs> What was that spider doing? Anyway I want to get corn and pumpkins because that's very seasonal because you know October is like Halloween, autumn, all of that good stuff and I want to make sure that that's all included in this farm because I want it to be somewhat seasonal. That being said I'm probably not going to change it out every season because that's work that I, I can't be asked to do, I'm gonna be honest. Before we go on the search for crops, the first thing I want to do is decorate the inside of my house. The first thing I want to do is get some bookshelves for my bedside tables. Now another cool feature that this texture pack adds is that if you put bookshelves next to wooden planks they actually turn the same wood type as the wood you place them next to. So if I put them next to these oak planks they will look just normal oak bookshelves but if I put them next to spruce for example they all look like spruce bookshelves. So as you can tell they don't connect if you just put them on top, however if if I put a block in the middle they will all be spruce. So what I'm thinking is that I move my bed forward one and then put spruce planks there and it makes these lovely spruce bookcases. And because of the little spruce bit there it also looks like a bed, bed head. So I got this creeper head in the last episode. I got this via the use of a plugin because sometimes when I kill mobs it will drop their heads. No one seemed to mind me using this so I'm just going to use it as decoration. Now the next thing I'd like to do is over here by the front door is put in a little table. Now I'm not sure whether oak looks good. Let me try it with spruce. See with the spruce it kind of blends into the floor a little but the spruce over here kind of evens it out. I was thinking I might actually change the floor into stripped oak logs so actually yeah let me go try that out. Yeah I actually quite like this with a bit of like carpet maybe I think this could look very nice. So I'm just gonna put this at the end of the bed and I think that looks very nice. As for flowers I'm not actually sure what I should do because as much as it's very autumnal I've gone for more cooler tones but you know what I don't know if I, I'm liking that anymore because it's very autumnal around so I think I might change the lilacs to rose bushes and these to maybe dandelions or tulips tulips would be nice if I can find orange tulips on my benches today so I've just crafted my two flower pots which is all I really need for now 
I think I might leave that for maybe a lamp. So I'm going to put that there and then put that over here. I'm just going to go back to my house and go to sleep and then we can start adventuring and trying to find some crops. Okay, so let's go on our little adventure. So I have crafted a boat to help us get across this swamp. But to be, on to be honest, there's lily pads and I never noticed but they've actually got the roots that lily pads have got in real life. That's so cool, that's such a great detail as well. I'm just going to take a quick detour because I did see some rose bushes and I want to replace the the lilacs with rose bushes. These are peonies, but you know what, I want to collect them anyway. Because all flowers in this game are really nice, so why not collect them? Okay, so I've got all of the out. All of the out, all of the rose bushes that I need. Oh, sheep! Let's. Oh, actually, I'll be camouflaging them, so they'll be thankful for this. There we go, and I've got three already. Thank you. That's the perfect amount of wool that I needed. Perfect. Oh God. I do kind of want to go loot it, but there's already some spawning. You know what? I'm going to make a run for it. I'm going, I'm going to go for it. I haven't got that much armor. And I haven't really... Okay, I've got cobblestone. Shoot, they're already coming for me. They're already coming for me. Okay. I'm just going to quickly run for it. Get inside. Go on up. Up to the top. Okay, there's no one up here. Perfect. All bottle of enchanting. I'm actually not gonna use that bottle of enchanting because I'm not gonna lie. In my opinion, they're kind of useless by their by themselves. Um. Okay. Is that an iron golem? Okay, I'm gonna go to try and free that iron golem. Maybe if I try falling over onto that. Okay. You know what? That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Okay. Oh god, there's so many of them. Okay, right. Okay, I'm, oh god. He's out. Oh god, okay, right. Honestly, just kill him. Can I get a loot? Oh god, he's about to die. Oh god. I'm sorry, Iron Golem. I'm sorry. Oh god, he's alive. Good on you, but I'm going to run away now. Oh my god, is that a village? Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, there are tulips over on that hill, which is perfect. I'm going to quickly collect these orange tulips. I think I might mix them in with dandelions, because I think that would look pretty cute. We have found a village, which is, which was our main goal. Oh, chest. Potatoes, yes, and some bread. Okay, hi. I needed a stone cutter. I'm sorry, but I'm taking your job. Sorry, I need this more than you. <laughs> and I'm going to take the bill. So I do realise I'm just taking all of their things, but let's be real. Villagers aren't going to use them. Not really. What's in here? Oh, chest. Saddle. Is this the library? Oh, yes. Perfect. Got even more books. Uh, I'm going to leave you that lectern. Yeah, I'm going to leave you... Mm, nah, sorry, I'm stealing your lectern. You'll be fine. I don't think they're growing any other crops. Which is so stupid. Why, we, why don't you grow crops? You need to, food to live. At least we've got some potatoes. But I think we're going to have to continue adventuring. Because we need more crops. Oh, that was very disappointing. There's another plane here, but I'm not expecting much. I'm more on the lookout for pumpkins right now. Oh my god. That's another village. Oh my god, it looks bigger as well okay composter I don't actually um crops I <laughs> completely overlooked that okay that's wheat okay carrots and beetroot yes okay I got beetroot or should I say corn haha <laughs> oh my god I'm so happy you guys we've got corn okay there is a blacksmith which is great okay let's see what's in the blacksmith 
iron chest plate and gold. Okay, I'm going to take these. However, I'm not sure what I can get rid of. I need to find some pumpkins. And so far, we've been getting amazingly lucky so far with what we've been finding. However, pumpkins are quite rare. And I don't want it to be that much of a fuss to get. I'm going to try and find them for like an for another five minutes. And then if I can't find them, then no worries. I'm just going to go look for them off camera because... I feel like just going for a quest for pumpkins is pretty boring to watch. I think the best thing to do right now is to go back, I'll find some pumpkins between episodes, and next episode we can get started on the farm. But for now, let's just get back home. Now this is perfect timing because the sun's just setting. But let's dock our boat outside our house here and then go to sleep and then continue decorating. Okay, so let's start decorating, let's make some green carpet. I think if we add one here, sort of welcome that, and then some around my bed, that look very nice. So I'll make the bed match this corn flower that I've just put down. And I'm thinking actually for here, I might get rid of this slab and put down a lectern. I thought like that'd be cool. I could put like some sort of guest book in here. And I'm going to get rid of the spruce table and instead put down oak stairs so that it matches with the lectern. So now I'm going to craft a book and quill to put in the lectern. Let me put that in there and there we go. Guess book. Just for now. Just me. So actually, I think if I put just a brewing stand, that could look nice. I actually think I'm going to put the plant over here because I can't put any trapdoors on, trap on the side over there. And then put some spruce leaves on top. There we go. And get some trapdoors for the sides. There we go. Nice little plant. So I'm going to grab my crafting table and my furnaces. So now let's go back outside and get rid of these flowers and replace them with nicer ones. That is so much better. But then when you go on the inside, it is more greens and blues. Like, oh, I didn't even realize that, that the bottom of the lectern is actually blue, but that's actually perfect. Cause I'm gonna replace my bed with blue and there we go. So now we've decorated the inside and the outside. I've got one more thing to add before I end the episode. And that is a little fishing dock here. So I am gonna use a bit of an unconventional building block, which is campfires. I feel like it'll add that perfect rickety plank look that I want. So I need to craft a couple of sticks and make a bunch of campfires. Okay, so I've crafted some campfires and I've grabbed some spruce trapdoors to use as a sort of step to get onto it. There we go. Perfect. I want them to be facing like horizontally, if that makes sense.
Okay, so I'm not sure where I should put these chains. I really like the idea of using these as like a sort of fence in, but I'm not sure whether they look better like that or like that. I think more like this, but if you guys let me know, then that'll be greatly appreciated. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you guys enjoyed this little fishing dog. I think this came out so cute. I might extend it out into the water a tiny bit more. But otherwise I think it's very cute and I love the decorating that we've done on the house. I know it wasn't much but it looks very cute now. I much prefer having the autumnal colours rather than the lilacs and the cornflowers. And the inside looks very nice and cosy. We, it's not much but I think it's very nice. So in the next episode we will be using the crops that we found and making a whole farm and between episodes i will go and find pumpkins from somewhere i'm sure there's some around i mean there must be right but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like comment down below if you've got any ideas or anything you want me to build and i'm sure i'll get around to it and subscribe if you're new to my channel and i will see you all in the next video Bye!